just right here in front of us, I can, without turning my head, I can see three, three parasite life cycles. Over there, there's a pig under the tree. It's currently tied up, not very far from that pig. And you could imagine if it weren't tied, it would be quite happy to go in it. Is this little metal shack, which is, if you go and have a look, you'll see is the latrine. And it's not closed off, so animals have access to that latrine, and therefore waste products that may be hanging about the latrine are available for the pig to scavenge. That's exactly how the pig will pick up infections of cystocercosis. From a parasitologist's point of view, it's, it's fascinating, but of course it's, it's a really significant impingement on people's lives, and that's really what this is all about. It's about helping top-level policy help people to understand and to help people directly to understand that the, these conditions are what might be making them sick and the reasonably straightforward interventions you can imagine closing off that latrine stopping the pig accessing it digging your pit further away from your home so that the mosquitoes that breed in the pit can't get at you when you're asleep in your bed treating your cattle with a drug that costs 50 cents so that when you do go into the swamp they don't get infected with trypanosomes that's the output of this project. It's, it's, it's about getting the information. We're gathering the science to help people understand at all levels, the, the farmer himself, his wives, his children, and at the policy level, and the district veterinary officials to help understand how these diseases are transmitted and the very simple, I hope, interventions that you can put in place to stop this happening.